it going, Corey? Man, it's going great. It's the best to be back out on this field. What, uh, how do you feel like your spring has gone? Obviously, you had a little bit of a slow start with the, with the injury and rehab, but how do you feel like it's going so far? Um, I feel like my spring is going, you know, I'm taking it day by day. I'm doing little things like we stress in here is we slow, small, daily. And so just taking every moment for what it is and just keep going. The best I can do is just making sure I step with, through these walls with 110% effort every single day. So that's the best thing I can do. What are the biggest lessons you took from last season? Uh, being able to be patient and knowing that like everything's not against me and just being able to take a situation, uh, given a negative situation, being able to turn it positive and just being able to see the good in a lot of bad situations because regardless, no one, the world's not going to stop for nobody. Were there times last season where it felt like everything was kind of going against you? Uh, it's probably just being like the like freshman in the college, not seeing or seeing how everything is, but you know, just now, I'm, it's not that I regretted it, but it's just I'm, I'm blessed to now see that I can now take everything that happened last year and just put it in the past and I can work forward and just use that every single day. And just seeing, like, I don't ever want to be in a position to where, like, I'm on the sidelines or I'm doing something like that. So I'm just doing the best I can every single day to just use that as my motivation and just keep going. How have you taken to the new coaches? How, yes, you said again. How have you taken to the new coaches and gotten to know them? Oh, the, man, it's a blessing. This staff is amazing. And just working with Coach Manning every single day, I, I learned something new every single day. And with that, just being putting my hands on an old lineman before he can or just little things like just being able to break him down. It's, it's a blessing to be in between these walls and in these meetings. Would you like to have a, have a fresh start with a new staff coming in and kind of proving yourself all over again? Uh, I, I told them it was kind of like, like a whole new freshman year again, but you know, it's just something that comes with college football and you just start, got to start over. Every, like I said, the world doesn't move for anybody. And so you just got to learn to adapt to any little situation. And that's what's going to make, make or break you going into the next one. How's your knee doing? Everything's doing great. It's a blessing to be out here again. It's, I'm, I'm moving, I'm fast. I feel like I got my twitch back and so everything's all good. What was the setback you went through today? Uh, it was just a little minor, like a little dislocation, but I, I'm, I'm a lot better now. And so being able to just keep working and be in a rehab room like five times a day and not leaving here until like maybe 9, 30, 10 at night. And so just little things like that, but it's all about those extra hours that you put in. Last year, I'll say the main difference is just me being able to stand up and not put my hand in the dirt. But, um, you know, we'll just see how things play out. And it's, man, everything is a blessing to me. So just being able to adapt to this new this new uh, form of pass rushing and new being able to ways to just look at other people like Von Miller and just chase young people who stand up now in the league and see how they do it and perfect it. Or I'm, 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 I'm next up. Is that a better fit for you, feels like? Uh, I, I feel like I can play wherever the coach wants me to play. And I'm, like I said, I'm able to adapt to it. And so just going into this, switching to a rush back there instead of defensive end, I was ready to go. I was ready for it. How's learning the scheme been for you just in general? Uh, it's, it's, been, it's been tricky because it's kind of new. But at the same time, as long as I'm eyes and ears every single meeting, it's only going to come easy later on. What's your relationship like with Romello? You know, him coming in from Auburn and stuff. And he's one of, he's my guy, man. Just talking to him every single day, just picking up what he's learned from Auburn or just being from him as a person. Like, just he, he's an amazing guy and he's inspirational too. He's motivational. He, he keeps going. He comes to work every single day with the same motor. And so just seeing that along with him working by my side, man, that's a blessing. I know Coach Riley talked a little bit earlier in camp about keeping in context, like, expectations when – you come into college and you're a highly ranked recruit. Is that something they ever talk to you about, or is that something that you try to kind of put behind you, like the whole idea of being? Uh, no, I didn't. I never really allowed anything like that to phase me. I knew coming into college just being in the in-house conversations with my mom and dad. It was just like, yeah, I had or being the number one player. Yeah, that was I had done that. But now it's about doing and setting my marks and doing whatever I can on this college level because that was already in the past. Yeah, that's cool to look back on, but it's what I'm gonna do right now or tomorrow or the next event or the next time, next game, next practice. That's gonna separate me from everybody else. Was, was there any scare when the injury happened and how long did it happen to you? Uh, there's always like a little moment of everybody to feel like, damn, what's gonna happen yeah. next? But at the same time, I had to snap back into it because it's all about football. And it's just being able to go in and just, like I said, just take every negative situation, being able to look at it as a positive. For me being out, I sat down and I was able to learn and just observe how practices were going, seeing where it was right and what was wrong, and just being in my gap placement, just seeing that from the sidelines. And now being out there, being able to go and rep it, it's a blessing. On every single day, I'm just doing the best I can to just see it. Just Do you want more? Did you just happen in workouts and stuff? Uh, no, it just it happened during like a little PRP. Thanks, Corey. Thanks, Thanks Corey. Corey. Appreciate, Appreciate it. you guys.